<laughs> Happy Tuesday, everybody. Let's get into our focuses for the day. Little General. Uh, my number one focus is to follow up a refund from Crown Food Equipment so I can settle Ace Coffee night. Nice, Sunday. Our number one focus for the day is just having the gazelle, um, just applying all the learnings from scaling up workshop to the meeting. Lovely. Seamus? Uh, my number one focus is following up with Tija, who uh, is a manufacturer of tea and opening 20 locations uh, over the next two months. So, uh, yeah. Is it date? Our number one focus is finalizing some dealer support material um, that's co-branded. With a K. Uh, Brian and campaign brief for our existing customer promotion. Ashley? Um, sending some emails to Mexican Gourmet for their long-term rental options. Stack up. Following up on the tasks that are overdue from my absence yesterday. Sarah. Sarah? That's Zoe. So <laughs> 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 um, today's number one focus is going to be getting hold of Cammy, the president of Waves, to pin him down for a meeting with Paul. Sienna? Uh, putting together my website audit into a presentation to show Will tomorrow. Susu. Um, working on expense reports and bond rank as month end is approaching. Will? Uh, preparing for the upcoming month end, so taking care of payouts and closing accounts. Zoe. Uh, drafting the weekly emails to the dealers to promote our November and December promotion. Cool. Good job. Good job, everyone. Okay, highlights for yesterday by team. Can I get somebody from marketing? Uh, discussing with used equipment our November and December promotion. Great yeah. meeting. Awesome. Inside sales? Uh, it would be the rock huddle and just having the robust conversation that came out of it. Everyone working together to kind of see how we can best use our dealer business. Yeah. Cool. Outside sales? <coughs> uh, yesterday was just a, had a great meeting with Mike out in Alberta discussing where we were going to finish the month uh, and driving to close some business to hit our targets. Cool. Crew? Uh, we settled two contracts, uh, which is about 11000 So. Nice. Um, Went, so we went out six items. Awesome. Woo! Bye, uh, It would be for me having one of our big clients, Sales Go, getting their oven back with all the other kerfuffle. Good fuffle, what a great word. <laughs> uh, and for franchise, I was speaking to Trish earlier, and she's had an amazing meeting with Arby's, who actually wants to go down to Atlanta and talk to their bigger parent down there. So. She's in a really good space as well. Moving on to the smart numbers as we hit the board. Take us away. So we had seven dealer visits on 12 yesterday. The reason we didn't hit that was uh, it was our office day. So great, we smashed out some dealer visits. Nonetheless, we had zero apps in BC, one in Alberta, one in Ontario. And our pipeline is at 2.26 million. Uh, nine lost sales in BC, 16 in Alberta, seven in Ontario. We had three settlements out of three yesterday. We are sitting at 694,000 out of 903,000, which is 77% for the month. Uh, BC is at 144,000 out of 361. Alberta is 131 out of 226. Ontario is 417 out of 316. Woo! Uh, franchise RTB is 108 out of 263, and Advantage is zero out of 275. We had one web app. Alright, and then 108 idle assets with 122 days average cycle days. And the default rate sits at 3.9%. Cool, that's gone up a little bit. Anyone else knows that? <laughs> <laughs> cool, thank you guys. Okay, as we go around the room, just shout it out, starting from Elise. Have we got any stucks, roadblocks, or issues? Nope, I'm good. Just falling short in BC, looking at about 30,000. So take a look at the pipeline today uh, and see if I can find some money for us to make that up. Cool. Getting RT reports out of Australia. Do you need some help with that? Possibly. I'll follow up with Paul. Uh, yeah. Take it offline and so see me on it. Yep. Um, just getting uh, meetings and stuff uh, sort of settled a little bit for our cloning trip uh, for the next two days, myself and Seamus. Awesome. Anybody else? Uh, me, just still struggling with a little bit of visibility after being two weeks um, pretty much out of market with our CEO in town. So still trying to get around and pulse everybody uh, and then getting thrown into Alberta this week, which was unexpected. Okay, guys, so now core values and customer service stories starting again with you, little general. <laughs> Not for me. 
Um, just for Paul, for positivity, uh, teamwork, communication. He led the um, rock huddle that we had yesterday, and I just really loved his energy and his input and everything. So thanks a lot, Paul. Good job, Paulie. I have one for hey. Mahoney and Sons, who is uh, one of our biggest clients. As many of you know, we went there on Friday for our team event. It was a lot of fun while well, it was an impromptu team event. <laughs> and uh, just the feedback to their management there, they took extra special care of us on a busy night, ordering things off the menu that weren't there. Uh, so just really meeting our needs. So positivity and uh, attitude to Mahoney and Sons. Nice. I'm good. Uh, one for Seamus for flexibility. Um, we got invited, or I got invited, to a last minute meeting with Teja. I couldn't go because I was going to Portland and it was sort of a really exciting opportunity. So I'll let Seamus know and he met with them and knocked it out of the park. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, for me, for the whole inside sales team for supporting me while I was away. So teamwork for that. Uh, in particular, Sandy and Jen, I know, covered off a lot of my tasks and daily work. So thank you. A little better. Uh, I have another one for Paul. Uh, it's teamwork and flexibility uh, for being at the public storage right now uh, because <laughs> our clients did not deliver yesterday and then they wanted to do it today and I couldn't be there. So thank you, Paul. Good job, Paul. Thank you, Paul. I was just going to give the one that she just gave. You can do it again. Paul, it's it was right. there for you. I was going to give you another one, but Zoe so already got there. It can hear me. It can be, it's good. <laughs> uh, I've got one for Seamus for vulnerability. Uh, we had a really good, honest chat on Friday. Um, and every time we have one of those, he continues to grow and he's a great learner. So really proud of what he is becoming and the journey that he's on. So it's really cool. Thank you. Uh, also got a customer service experience. My wife and I went out for dinner Sunday night and the server came out and served my wife and I could see the manager watching and he ran out as soon as the plate hit the table and said I'm so sorry your meal's not far away usually we'd bring them out at the same time and because he took the concern straight off the table which wasn't really a concern because he'd been so proactive in it um, we were really really impressed and it just goes to show the more that we can be proactive with our customer mm. experience uh, the better feelings and, and the better our business is going to be so that's for me guys anything else before we wrap up yes sorry Ashley. i just have one um we just found out that um a great company hangry that we met and spent time yeah. with at the uh, Kelowna uh, hospitality and college show uh, are going to be on Dragon's Den. So oh, they, wow. they, they, they do a, wow. an app, a POS ordering system, where basically kids can go and order their stuff on all the different sort of um, menus that are on campus and then go pick it up and be paid and all that. So that's really exciting. They're having a big party out in Hamilton to watch it. And, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Great chat. Yeah. All right, guys, if there's nothing else, all right. Happy Tuesday. Woo! Uh, so Gazelles has given our leadership team the opportunity to really focus on our four main pillars of business, which is people, execution, strategy, and cash, uh, which really allows us to see where our gaps are uh, and focus on our execution. One of the key tools that we took away was the one-page execution template uh, and really helped drive our team as a whole to focus on what we needed to do to move our business forward. Uh, so one thing that the gazelles have really sort of helped me with is coming together as a group every single morning and um, it helps provide us accountability. Um, we get to recognize each other for good things, any customer service experience or core values. Um, and then any stacks, roadblocks or issues. So every day we can really sort of take a look and analyze our day and say, what do we need help with? Uh, who needs to be there in order to do that? So it just brings us all together every single day. Gazelles for me has been really about providing the business with clarity and visibility on where we're going and really providing rhythm within the business that gives me as the leader a great pulse on where we're at without having to have these hour long meetings every day. When we first introduced it I thought it was kin to micromanagement but that's something I've certainly found is not to be the case and something we try and share with actually all our stakeholders as well. I think the Gazelle has really opened up the line of communications with everyone in our team. I know a lot of larger companies tend to keep secrets about what's going on in the back end, but by having these meetings it's really opened up um, both with the leadership team and the team, uh, the rest of the team. We all really get to know what's going on. We all have great, great visibility in the business. Uh, the one big thing that Gazelles has really brought to our company is the strategic planning uh, from eight years out right down to three months out. We've effectively defined where the business is directed and how we're going to achieve it, both over a long and a short period of time. Um, it's helped us identify what our leading and lagging indicators are so that we can really measure our performance as a whole. That's been fantastic. 
All right, so our BHAG, our big, hairy, audacious goal allows us to focus ourselves towards what we hope to achieve uh, 10 plus years out. So for our Silver Chef Canada, our BHAG is funding 1 million people out of poverty, both through Opportunity International and our DineSmart, uh, having 300 team members across the country and being the number one in hospitality funding in North America.